morning, everybody. Welcome to Studio 5 on this gray, dreary Thursday. I matched the weather. How appropriate that of you, That was my you know? inspiration for today's clothing choice. So, instead of like trying to cheer us up, you're just like <laughs> blending in with it. You're going with it. I'm just going with it. I'm just going with it. Hey, we have a fabulous show lined up for you today, and we're starting off with a trash to treasure trend that has topped a new level. You've heard of turning old wood crates and shipping pallets into amazing accessories and decor from rustic shelves and storage to posh tables and benches. The creative possibilities really are endless. But today on Studio 5, we are talking about ways to use the wood boxes while you entertain. So dish up your next summer party with some stylish crate serving pieces. Designer Christine McKay is here really to show us how to do this. This stuff is really cool. And you've really taken these crates to a new level. You know what? One thing I love about using crates in any type of decor, especially, you know, tablescapes, is that crates have been around forever and they just seem to transcend every single um, style. For instance, you know, with like Americana, primitive, and then it was kind of that shabby chic. And now it is kind of the DIY kind of stuff. And it, and it just seems like it keeps recreating itself. So I I wanted to show some ways that you can switch out some of the maybe the crates that you already have or pick up some new ones. These are darling ideas. I'm just gushing over each and every one. Where do you want to start? You know, we can start right here at the very end. That, I'm telling you, that would be my wife's favorite. This you know, is the coolest thing. This, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a pastel girl, so I, I got, you know, bait, really brave and decided to do it. But what this is. I love that for you getting brave <laughs> <is> pastel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pastel layers after you brave. Um, so I actually got this crate at Michael's. It's $19.99, and it came just completely raw and whenever I'm distressing a piece I always start with my base and there's several things that you can use I like to use if I want a really dark base I'll use paint so I'll paint the crate first and then I will overlay it with the other color I want and it's one of those things that there's not a perfect science to it. you just keep sanding and until you get to the look that you want and then I always like to finish my distressed pieces with a, a little bit of glaze my favorite glaze is actually by Ralph Lauren you can go into Home Depot and you can get it in a quart or a gallon and it's just a Ralph Lauren glaze and then you have them add a smoke tint. That's my favorite. In fact, all the projects I use on Studio 5, because I get a lot of questions which mm -hmm. distressing glaze I use, and that's it. Well, what's the key? I want to ask you, what's the key to, so you have the good distressing product that yeah. you like, but what's the key to making it look really aged? I mean, I would have thought this is something you got at a flea market or an antique store. It looks that authentically aged. Sanding. Sanding completely. And I will be honest, the more you do it by hand with, you know, different, you know, uh, co uh, coarse, uh, grains of coarse uh, sandpaper, the better it's going to look. Some Sometimes I get lazy, like on big projects like this, and I'll just get out my electric sander and kind of do it, and then I'll go back through. If you really want a really cool aged look, you just can take like a screwdriver or something, and you just kind of like just randomly mark it in different Let your spots. Kids play with it. Oh yeah, I think we've talked about this before. It's my favorite get my frustrations out craft. But the one thing I really love about the glaze is it's so easy to work with because you pretty much you wipe it on or you brush it on and then you wipe off, and you really have a lot of control of how much you're going to put on and off. What's inside these drawers? Okay, so this is a way to just display your sandwiches. So you stagger the drawers and then in each drawer is a different kind of uh, sandwich and I just tied it with some floss and I found some cool tissue paper. There's some, the pink and then there's some pink polka dot in the next drawer and, and it's just kind of a fun way to display your food. If you had a summer like buffet at your house, this is killer on the table, or if you've got a picnic basket, a picnic out, can you imagine taking that as your new picnic basket out somewhere? You know what? You just totally gave me an idea. How cool would it be just to pop a handle on the top of oh. that and just take it with you? And it's really it's not heavy because it's made out of a really light balsa wood, which brings me to my next point. There is an amazing website, and it's Anna White Designs, and she tells you how to make your own crates. And you might say to yourself, uh, it's easier to buy them. No, this girl has broken it down. The, you can go uh, an entire bundle, I believe they're called lays, but they're just really thin sticks for like $15. You can make dozens of crates, and she shows you how to do it with like a simple uh, staple gun, nail gun, and so Anna White Designs, and you can really customize it. Because the wood is really thin, it's light. You didn't make this crate. No, this is one of my all-time favorite collections. I love collecting the Coca-Cola uh -huh, and the Pepsi um, crates, but this is just a fun way to display your drinks. Now, for something like this, I probably wouldn't want to put like food in it, and so it's really great for drinks. Just because it's a little older, it'd be harder to clean up, so it's perfect for that. How did you do this? Okay, moving right along. The another thing that I like to do is called like a halfway DIY. So I'll buy something. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They're half off this week, but it kind of had some nautical blue striping on it that I didn't love. Uh huh. And so I just kind of sanded that off. And oh, then, I can see like this was, used to be yeah, blue here on this side, yeah, here, and you've sanded that down. Yeah, and and I just for the price that they were on sale, I couldn't beat it. But 
you can just you can alter it a little bit and a, another product that I used on these when I was done is it's called a pickling stain now you know your traditional stains for wood like your walnuts or you know dark cherries this is actually it's white and it's called a pickling stain it basically just gives it a nice a nice wash there you have it, Christine McKay's half DIY, the technical yeah, term the halfway. for this new trend. <laughs> the new term yeah, there. Yeah. Okay, is that what you did okay. also with the jelly yes, beans? Yes, and that is what I do with the jelly beans. Yes. And I still, I lined the bottom with a little bit of plastic. And, you know, this was something right here that I just got at um, Taipan, just like this. And I loved the pastel um, with the pink. But, yeah, you just have your ice cream cones. You have your little toppings you can put on it. And you've lined it with tissue paper. Yeah, I lined it with a little bit of tissue paper. And all the cones just fell over. But it's not hey. meant to be tipped there, but... I'm going for a good <laughs> angle on the polka dots, okay? And this last one right here, you know how much I love candlesticks. I mean, I think you can do any, if I give me a candlestick and then a box and I can do anything. Borderline obsession. <laughs> well, li a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, my husband would say more than borderline, I think, but. Overline. I love to stack plates and stuff, so I thought, why not do it with crates? And so all I did was, these crates right here were at Michael's. I think they were $5.99. I just used a traditional stain on these and then just really sanded them down. And just, uh, I adhered a chipboard letter. I didn't have, I didn't want to deal with stenciling, so I just put that chipboard letter on there. Um, and then, of course, just a candlestick in the bottom. And then, if you wanted it permanent, obviously you could glue it. But really, I mean, you could do some bigger crates. You could do them like on the floor, stack it high with all sorts of treats. I mean, you really can just take all these ideas and go. Everyone has that corner in their home too. That would serve as a great little <gasps> corner accent piece. And you with know? all sorts of decorative balls and things. See, there's just so many things. And, Love it. And like I said before, the great thing with the crates are they're a good investment. Because they just seem to have transcended every single home trend. Okay, I gotta ask you, where yes. you mentioned a couple places where you get your crates. Oh, like yes. where is some because someone's gonna go out there, they're gonna want to buy all these crates. Where did you get them? I'm really hesitant to share this oh. because this has kind of been my little secret spot. Um on the way uh, on the freeway as you're going into Springville, off on the frontage road, there is a place called Tasha's Treasures, and it looks very industrial. You wouldn't even know it's an antique mall, but it really is. And just dozens of people have um, consignment shops. It is the most, least expensive place I've ever found to find the coat crates. You can find them every single time you go, and they're under 20 bucks. Now there will be none left. Yeah. Couldn't you tell me these things? <laughs> <laughs> announce it on the show? Come on. Yeah, but it's my all-time favorite. Yeah, okay, that's a great place to get the crates. And, of course, you can make your own and find the other one. Just make yourself. The do DIY yourself. Yeah. Half the, DIY. The half, half, half DIY. Yeah. Half, half DIY. Whatever that new phrase is. <laughs> we'll let you know you can check out Christine's website, kmckdesigns.com, for more stylish summer transformations. What a really a great idea for a picnic Fabulous. or anything you're home. I'm Great obsessed idea. with crates as they are now new at ways to dress them up. Thanks, Christine. You're welcome.